Hi there, I'm Matt Filio, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 1 of the 30-Minute Acrylic Portrait. Lord, got my hand. Lord, got my heart. Help me to paint a beautiful picture. Help me to start. This is a new series I'm starting. Um, what I want to do is show artists how they can paint a portrait um, in a short amount of time. Just have fun and relax and uh, just let the process unfold. So what we will be doing is taking reference photos of various people and then side by side here with my canvas I'll be painting a portrait in 30 minutes. I even have a timer set up so that It'll keep me on track and you'll be able to see this is actually taking place real time. Um, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to continue this series. Um, it'll be based on people's response. So if you like uh, this series, uh, give the video a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, and uh, hopefully it can encourage you and your friends to be able to paint a portrait you can be proud of. Um, so we're going to dive right into this painting here. And I can't wait to show you the process. And for today's portrait, I'm going to be working on a painting of a lady from our Facebook group, our Realistic Acrylic Portrait School Facebook group. And um, not, I can't remember her name, but um, I just thought the lighting on this face was excellent. There's good contrast and good form, and it would make a really good portrait to paint from. Um, and so I have an 8x10 uh, canvas board set up side by side that I've pinned with uh, four thumbtacks. Makes it really easy on a cork board. Um, and then I have this holder that's holding up the picture. And we'll be able to see everything side by side. And then I have um, my palette to show you the colors really quick. And so I've got um, ivory black, raw umber dark, got burnt sienna, raw sienna, touch of phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, uh, naphthal red, organic yellow orange or Indian yellow it's also called, uh, raw titanium matte up here that, that has nothing to do with my name <laughs> and then I have um, titanium white and a little bit of matte medium here just to thin out the paint a little bit not so much for glazing effects to make it translucent, but just more to thin out the paint and make it a little more fluid. Before I dive in, just want to also show you the uh, brushes that I have. So if you want to paint along with me, you can. Um, I have a three quarter inch flat. I've got a, um, I think this is a half inch flat. They call it the size six. And we have a couple of rounds uh, size six. We also have a smaller flat uh, size six. So I'm going to set up the timer here and we'll get started. There we go. All right. So the first thing we want to do is just kind of get the composition laid out. Want to get the composition laid out. And I'm going to be taking um, romb or dark. Actually, I'll take a little bit of this raw titanium mat. I'll just show it to you really quick so you can see what I'm mixing. Thin it out a little with the matte medium. Add a little titanium white. We want this to be very faint. And then we're just going to kind of block in the composition very loosely. So basically, I just want to see you know, the overall dimensions of the face, where it resides within the image here, the image area, and just begin to kind of block that in very loosely. So I'm describing the dimensions of the hair, the face, <clears throat> the overall shadow of the chin and that structure. It's something I can refine later if I need to. And we'll just say the hair can go about this far. And then the shadow from the neck and chin go about there. Leave a little area that can 
describe the neckline that cuts in on the bottom of the picture, but it's cropped off. Gives us a pleasing composition. <coughs> and, and that will be, I think, pretty good for that. Now, the next step is we want to fill in the background really quickly here. I'm just going to take some titanium white and a little bit of ultramarine blue. Just show that to you quickly. And we'll be painting in primarily the sky, so that should be pretty light. You know, just kind of hold it up to the reference photo, which in this case is my Kindle, just to make sure I'm on track. And I don't know if I'm going to paint the background detail. Probably not. Just keep this kind of a, a flat blue. Maybe, maybe make it a little bit lighter towards the bottom. So we'll add a little bit of white here. And just push that to the left side of our mixture so we can kind of fade it to a little lighter color at the bottom. Wipe off the brush and grab a little of that darker color so I can get this top portion there. And then a little bit of the whiter color down here. And maybe just a bit more of the lighter color down there. All right, now let's also take some of that same color but a little stronger and then we'll place that in on her shirt. I grabbed a little bit of phthalo blue as well. That's a more intense kind of aquamarine blue. And we'll just place that right here on her shirt area. Just kind of fill that in. So we're just basically wanting to get these major values and colors described here as much as possible. But I'm going to work my way from the outside in on this portrait. I want to leave a little room for the hair as well. We want to pay attention to where her shoulder falls and get that to kind of line up with the jaw as much as possible. And just smooth this out just like that. These crisscross diagonal strokes. Alright, and then what we'll do is rinse off the brush really quick, wipe it on a towel, and switch to the next color. So for the hair, let's take kind of a, a tone that'll work for everything. We'll take some titanium white burnt sienna to start with, a little raw sienna. Kind of get something that works for the main mass of hair. Just the overall foundational tone. Maybe a little bit of raw or dark, just to make it a bit darker. I want to get something kind of in the middle of everything. I'll show you the mixture here. Okay, and then we'll just fill this in. Now, normally I paint more translucently, but here for a 30 minute portrait, we're going to go, <coughs> excuse me, go a little more opaque. And uh, that's the only way to do it when you're painting this fast. But it's kind of fun to loosen up a little bit and just try new things and have fun with the process. You know, I haven't done a lot of 30 minute portraits, so we'll see how this turns out. And if you stay with me on this journey, I believe I'll get better and better at it, and I, I believe you will too. And so uh, together we'll have a lot of fun um, painting portraits and just seeing what happens. And you know, I, I forgot to do a very important thing before I started here. I forgot to, to pray. <laughs> I usually pray before I begin painting. So I'm just going to stop right in the middle here and say, Father, bless this painting. Help me to capture the likeness of this lady here and uh, to paint a portrait that um, you know I could be proud of but I pray that the students the people watching could paint a portrait that they'll be proud of and that uh, this will be just a fun process together learning to paint um, 
in a looser way, in a faster way, and just bless this portrait in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So I want to continue here in the process and, um, like I say, just kind of get in the outlines of her hair and her face. And then let's kind of block in the shadow, the shadow for her, her neck and chin area. So we're going to take some raw umber dark and looks like a slightly cooler color. So let's add a little bit of blue to that. And maybe just a bit of this napful red to offset it. Yeah, I'll show you the mixture here. Kind of see if we're in the ballpark. It's going to be quite dark and it needs to be. Just want to block in that major shadow under her chin. I'm just kind of following the, the loose painted sketch that I had underneath it. And this can be refined later. There's no problem there. Now, we're going to take a little bit of raw titanium matte and we're going to begin to block in some of the flesh tone within her face. And just block that in really quick here. We'll kind of fade it to a lighter color. So we're going to add a little bit of titanium white and block that in. I think the raw titanium matte was just a little too dark, so I added some titanium white just to lighten that up a little bit. All right, now wipe off some of the excess that's on the brush. We'll add a little bit of this color we mixed there. We'll get a transitional tone between the shadow on her neck and then the highlighted area of her neck. And then we'll add a little bit of this darker color down there and a little bit of a lighter color using titanium white. We'll just add that to this highlighted area of her neck. So just kind of the two mixed together. All right, now let's take a smaller brush. We'll take this half inch flat and then we'll block in the shadow color on this side of her face. I'm going to add a little titanium white just to make it somewhat more opaque so it covers better. And we're just going to kind of block that in. All right, and then let's begin to block in the features of the face here. We want to get them just about in the middle. We're going to get the um, eyebrows and eyes because the eyes are usually in the middle of the face. And then we're going to get the shadow for the nose. Just kind of bring that down. And then a little bit of red. We'll add a little bit of this uh, napful red for the lips. We don't want it to be too vivid, so I mixed it into the brown. And we're just going to paint that right in. Just try to get that overall shape. Now there's a shadow underneath, all right, so the top part's in shadow, the bottom part's highlighted. All right, it looks like my Kindle just shut down for a moment, went on standby mode. Okay, now let's add a little more depth to the, the eyes here. We'll just add a little bit of a Romber dark. By the way, I'm not using any any retarding mediums that slow down the drying time. I'm just working with these acrylics naturally. And uh, there's no need, in my opinion, for retardant mediums, although I think some people do like them. <clears throat> I just never really cared for them. Okay. I kind of developed the shadow a little bit more. 
above her eyebrows. There we go. And hey, real quick, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps it to be seen by more people, and I really appreciate that. And then subscribe for more videos like this and share it with your friends. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll go back to the 30-minute acrylic portrait. And then take a little bit of burnt sienna, okay? And we're just going to move that into this lighter mixture that I had off to the side here. And kind of mixing it into the titanium white raw titanium matte. We want to get a little bit of the uh, shape of her cheeks there and that nasolabial fold. She's kind of smiling, a squinted smile on the sunlight. Put a little detail of her nose. Okay, and then we have kind of the little vertical wrinkles on her forehead. Now let's fill that in a little darker there. And now <clears throat> I'm going to extend the shadow out under her chin just a little bit more. We'll have some fun with that. Now let's add some shadow to her hair. <coughs> darker valleys within her hair. So we're taking raw umber dark, some ivory black, all right, and we're going to just block in on top of what we already have. I have to get it thick enough so it can really cover. Kind of drag the brush at a angle where it's a little more uh, parallel with the canvas surface and that'll keep it from digging into the layers beneath. Just a really good tip for you there. And we just kind of bring this shadow up and then we're going to want to get a little bit of blending going on within the hair. But first I, I kind of want to block in a few more of these shadows. A few more of these shadows. A little bit of a shape here we want to capture, and then down here. All right, now let's take some raw sienna, burnt sienna, mix them together with a little bit of the raw titanium matte. Make kind of a, a lighter value here that we can blend out of. And just getting some of those shapes we want to blend out of them a little bit. We have to cut ourselves a little slack. I mean, this is a 30-minute portrait. It's not going to look like a portrait where you take hours and hours. I can take 20, 20 hours on a portrait on up to 150 for a really large one. So I'm not going to expect perfection here. It's just kind of an exercise to see what you can accomplish within a short amount of time and just to have some fun with it just to have a little bit of fun with it. There we go. So we're just kind of developing some highlights. We'll take some raw titanium matte and some Indian yellow. It's a little brighter color and a little bit of burnt sienna. And we don't want it too vivid. A little bit of titanium white added to that. A little more burnt sienna. And let's try that. We'll just kind of pop this in as a highlight here. Just add that right to this spot here where the light would be hitting it, and also on this side as well. Maybe have that extend up a little higher. Just get that warmer color in there. All right, let's have this highlight kind of going down just a bit. And uh, now, let's add a little bit of a shadow little bit of a shadow coming down from the forehead right there from the hair just to say that it is three-dimensional and then let's take some let's make a little bit of a pink mixture for her lips titanium white organic red orange a little bit of burnt sienna so it's not too vivid a little more white just lighten that up a bit We'll just add that right here 
Yeah, we still need a little more white. I can see the value is just a little too dark. Want to add that right there. All right, now let's add a little more detail around the eyes. And we're going to add the little wrinkles underneath. She's kind of smiling, <clears throat> and the sun is striking her face just so. It's creating all those interesting little shadows. We're going to darken the shadow um, between her eyebrows and her eye socket a little bit. All right, there we go. And we'll just uh, we'll just lighten this up a little bit right here. Now, I think this lady would forgive me if I didn't get her exact likeness in a 30-minute portrait. But I'll try my very best. All right. Now, we're going to darken in just a little bit on this side of her head and cut in the shape. It seems like the forehead should kind of fade in just a bit more. And then let's see if we can kind of solidify that jawline. Just take the edge of the brush, just the very tip, and just kind of tilt it upwards. We're going to take a little bit of a lighter color, raw titanium matte. We're just going to get a little more defined shape on that left side of her face and see if we can develop a few shadows, transitional shadows down here. Um, yep, we need one right over here too. There we go, just to balance that out. Let's also darken on her lips just a bit. We'll take some naphthal red and some raw umber dark. And we'll just add a little shadow right here. And then let's blend out of that. Take a little lighter color. Um, a little bit lighter yet. A little bit lighter yet. Okay. And then we're going to work into this side of the face and just kind of strengthen that shadow. It should get just a little bit darker. So we're going to go over the, that with the color that we used here for the neck. And just get that strong surface shadow. We have a surface shadow right here, a cast shadow from her neck. They're almost the same value. But then the surface shadow turns. It's called turning the form. And we turn the form right here at this point as we transition out of this harsh shadow into a little lighter mid-tone on this side of the face. We're just blending out of that. <clears throat> I get a lot of emails from people asking how to do those subtle blends and you know from the shadows into the lighter areas and it's just a matter of getting some transitional values. It's not so much the technique, although that does come into play, but it really is getting those transitional values that makes a difference. Now let's deepen that let's deepen that shadow under her bottom lip. Um, we're just going to add a little bit of a dab there. And then we want to blend out of it a little bit. So we're taking a lighter color here. You can see some of the colors I'm working with. Mostly raw titanium matte mixed with some of the other colors we've been creating. All right, now a little bit lighter yet right here. So we'll blend out of that. Now let's get a transitional value right here from the cheek color. It's a little warmer in tone, so I'll take some uh, Indian yellow, a little bit of uh, naphthal red, some matte medium just to make it fluid, and a little raw sienna. It's just a little to the, to the pinkish side. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, now just kind of pop that right in, and it needs to be a little lighter. It's okay to test. If you don't like your color, you can always go back and change it. A little bit lighter. Wipe off the excess on the brush. We'll add a little bit of titanium white. 
I wipe off that excess so I can change the color quicker on my brush. Just have a rag next to you and it's really easy to do. A little more white and some raw sienna. We just want to blend out of that as best we can. A little more white and raw sienna. All right, let's kind of start a new area of mixing right here. Now let's see if we can get that transition there. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Now, can we do that to the other side? It's not quite as dark on this side, so I should be sticking more with my lighter mixture on this side that I started. I had to start a fresh mixture because this was just getting too muddy over here. So it really helps to have a palette. It's a little bit larger where you can fit these things. Well, now the nose really needs to get darker, doesn't it? So let's take some raw or dark and let's add a shadow under here. I'll take a little bit of this reddish mixture that I had from before. Spray my palette quick. It's kind of starting to dry out a little bit. It's nice to have a spray bottle like this. And just intermittently every 15 minutes or so spray your palette to keep the paints from drying out. I like that way better than those mediums because that way the paint will dry quick on the canvas, which is what I like it to do. Um, take a little bit of naphthal red and Indian yellow, and we're just going to create a color for the bottom of her lips. It's a little bit warmer in tone. I want to show some of the details of her nostril. Let's grab a smaller brush here, round brush and take some raw or dark. It's just a good color that's not as chalky as black. It's a little warmer in tone, so it works great for dark values on faces. And then let's take some of that raw or dark as well. And we'll just add that right in here on our eyes to get the suggestion of some pupils. Now again, we can't paint all the detail here. We just don't have the time, but we can make some suggestions. Nothing wrong with making suggestions and in painting and in life. Suggest things to other people very kindly, very gently. When they make suggestions to you, and that's good advice, it's always good to be willing to be corrected and to learn from other people. Anyway, um, just going to add a little bit of a transitional value up here by her eyes. And let's darken this value right here under her left eye. Because that's just a bit in shadow. And we have a little bit of a transition we can capture as well from her eye going up to the eye socket area. All right. Now, let's, uh, kind of neglected this, but let's get a little shadow going on her clothing. I'll take some black ultramarine blue, and let's darken this whole area. A little, a little more to the bluish side. And we just want to get this nice shadow going over her shirt. That'll help give everything a little more dimension. Show that that shadow is indeed there and her face is casting a shadow from the sunlight. That may be a suggestion of a few hair shadows as well. I don't know. Just have a little bit of fun with it. Blur that out just a bit at the end. Strengthen that shadow just a bit more there. And then we can add a few transitional shadows on this side of the face. Or, sorry, that side of the hair. Just suggesting, just suggesting rather, that we have some hair that's kind of going over her shirt just a bit. A little bit of... Uh, white and blue and mix that together. A 
And then let's take a little bit of the brownish color and we'll kind of push that up against the edge. Just paint over that a little bit. All we're doing is just suggesting some shadows. All right, now rinse off the brush and kind of go back to the face just a bit. See if we can add a little bit of a shadow right in here. We'll need to lighten that up a bit. Raw titanium matte and titanium white. Just want to kind of define that shape under her cheek a bit more. And we're going to darken this shadow here under her cheek just a bit more too. All right, now we'll add, whoop, that was not the color I wanted, but we'll just kind of paint over that. That's okay. No worries. Just want to extend that out a little bit more on this side. And then see if we can get a transitional tone on her nose just a bit. here and a shadow in this area mid-tone and then we're going to just add a little bit of a highlight on the top from her forehead here a bit then let's add a stronger highlight I've just run out of titanium white I'll have to add a little more to my palette And what we want to do is just add a bit of a highlight to her forehead, titanium white and Indian yellow. Just mix those two together. We're adding a right in here, just in this spot on her forehead. This can be basically titanium white also a little bit of a highlight on her cheek and I, I'll be pretty soon coming up against 30 minutes so add just a bit of a highlight there I'll blend out a bit get a little gradation here on her chest area maybe a little bit of a highlight here on her neck just pop that in and just a bit of a transitional tone on that side of her jawline. All right, and that's time. <laughs> that's time. So here is my 30 minute acrylic portrait. So obviously it's not a perfect rendition of the picture, but it's just nice to see what you can accomplish in 30 minutes. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial today. hope you enjoyed this first episode of the 30-minute acrylic portrait. And I'd encourage you to uh, share this with your friends. Again, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment for me. I always love to hear from you. And uh, there's more tutorials available at realisticacrylic.com, full-length courses and um, tutorials on how to paint uh, realistic acrylic portraits step by step, a portrait you can be proud of. So thank you so much for watching. God bless, and we'll see you soon. Lord, got my hand. Lord, got my heart. Help me to paint a beautiful picture. Help me to start